Jason Smokey. Kevin. That's JR Life from Dallas. Ha <laughs> ha. Flack. Zombie. There's Caitlin Walsh right there. Joe's daughter. Ha <laughs> Moisten. John J. Peterson the third. Andrew. Corey. Nosy or no one knows why he's nosy. There's Bell and there's Bell. Black and Bell. First and last, Slippy, the Sandman, the Shadow Runner, view it. Todd, Daryl, how's my future looking, Daryl? Oh, don't do that, Moise, you gotta get that Christmas shopping done. Right. Tina Rice, JR, Gerbil, <laughs> we're live. Okay, and those were the soft, smooth sounds of the Grand Spartan. A song I call The Release. Hope everyone's doing well. JD, I didn't know I streamed today either, JD. Ha ha ha, Jeffrey. Antoine, cooking a steak. Got me on the deck, man. I feel all fancy now, gerbil. <laughs> I wish I had a steak. Uh, only thing I had is a mistake. Ugh. I'll be here all night, folks. Too smoky. Albert and Angela, I hear a zombie. Oh, you made me hit my thing. So I don't like this at all. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but... Eh. Maybe it'll look okay when I get all of this destroyed and uh, replaced everything. Yeah. Matt, what's up? Russell Nash. Yeah, this is... um. This is one of those days, so we're getting close to the holidays, and uh, yeah, look, I got everything finished. I got home about, well, about 40 minutes ago or something like that, 30, 40 minutes ago. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a quick shower, and we going live. Got to get some uh, some base building done, right? Got to gotta get all uh, on the up and up with this thing, get this thing finished, and oh, we're going to beat this thing in style is what we're about to do. But I do need a lot of cobblestone. And I don't think you can get clay in the wasteland. Correct me if I am wrong. But I don't believe that is possible. Maybe somewhere out here has some clay? I don't know. Concrete. We want the frame cubes. We don't want a nail gun. Uh, Let's see here. You got only wood and snow biomes? Um, well, that sounds off. You should definitely, every map should have just a little bit of desert and a little bit of, uh, wasteland and stuff. You know what I mean? Should have a little bit of all of that stuff. I tell you what, let's take this cobblestone and let's make it into cobblestone shapes to go along with the 129. That'll give us 200 and we get back. We'll be, uh, you know, we'll have some, we'll have some only got 150 rounds. I hope that's all I need. Oh yeah, Brian. Are you, why are you you all always ask that? That's the weirdest thing. Did I scrub behind my ear? I scrub every little part of my body. Do you want to know all the little parts that I scrub, Brian? I can share them with you, sir. I'll share pictures if you want to see it. Oh gone it. I want to beat up the zombie smelling like herbal essence. Isn't that a lady's shampoo or something, John? You know, I shave my head, John, right? I mean, I do shampoo and condition my, my beard every time I get in the shower. And if you don't, you're nasty. Shame on you. Ugh. Beards are nasty, right? Beards pick up disgusting stuff. You got to do that. Well, um, I think the other base has my... 
See, I do have this, and I have that. Let's let's make that into cobblestone. Let's make let's. Little Buick Nailhead with our twenty-five dollar donate. Yeah, thank you. Great content, man. I owe you at least this. Oh no, you don't owe me anything, man. Thank you, though. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. Very kind. I really appreciate that. Don't know how much. Man, get the old juices flowing here. Well. We'll, uh, we'll zippity zap on over to the other base here. That's what we're going to do. Brian, how do you forget to wash your beard, though? It collects sweat and spit and food and dirt and all kinds of nastiness, man. How could you not remember to shampoo and condition that thing or something? Every time you get out of the shower or in the shower, I mean. Well, you got to. You got to do that. You, you got to. You got to wash that thing, man. He's stinking. Ugh. Yeah, I got a, I got a brother-in-law that looks like he never washes his. And I feel so sorry for his fiance. Or his wife, I'm sorry. Wife. It's a pants optional stream every day, Jeffrey. Every day. Mike Johnson. JD. You got Mr. Jester right there. Gotta imagine Granny asking if you got behind your ears. Chris Murphy? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when you're younger, right? But I don't think Granny's gonna say, okay, sugar, did you wash behind your ears? When I got a big old beard and I'm a grown man. <laughs> Astronomy Mom and Camilla. Stravid sign. Uh. Trying to go down the road at 70, the crap you get in your beard that made you when you're a bike. Yeah, yeah. Car cam. There's the P. Walters. How you doing, Mr. Sean B. Walter? And Mary B. P. Walter. There's Natasha. Yeah, you know, so I've already done all of my traveling for the year. Uh, I'm done with that. Got no more of that until uh, January. That I know of. Hopefully, nothing comes up. Wait, am I going the right direction here? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I finished up. Work, everything done today. Got home, showered. Slammed down a microwavable meatloaf and mashed potatoes. I mean, literally took me like 15 seconds to eat the whole thing. And uh, and here I sit. I said, you know what? I told the missus. I was like, you know, she's going to be baking, right? The missus is trying to make a little extra cash. She's been baking. She's got 450 cookie order to do by... Friday. So not only does she have to bake 450, but she's got to decorate like every one of them, make them look like little, you know, reindeer and snowmen and all kinds of stuff. So she's going to be every night. That's what she's doing until midnight. I don't even know how she does that. Works all day and then does that all night. Uh, Tim, Gabriel, Omen, Dahlia, Hoopty. Boy, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Hope you're. I uh, hope you all are well, safe today. I'm gonna come in for a hard landing right here. Oh, I'm gonna hit that tree. I'm gonna hit that tree. No, no, no. I got it. It's all good. There we go. Look at that landing right there. Uh, you know, look at that. Uh, uh. There's a zombie right by my old base. Dead. Dead. Wait, do I have anything in my motorcycle? Not really. Hey, how does the, uh, how's the sound? Is the sound okay? Balanced out and all? I guess I'll take the antibiotics with me. You know, we're going to probably need that over there. The plaster cast. Uh, mm, I probably won't need anything else. I don't think I'll make first aid kits now, but I need to, right? I need to get on that. Skull Crusher, Eye Candy, Health Bars, they could help me. Uh, jailbreakers, I rarely use those things. The beer, I'll take the beer. Uh, how's my food looking? I guess I could eat some beef cuts.
Nah, she won't let anybody help, right? She's got a very peculiar, specific way. She's got a method down now that she uses to, to bake those things and to decorate those things. And, you know, she knows how she wants it done. And she's, uh, she gets it done, right? She gets it done. But I don't know how. I don't know how. When all she's got going on in her life. But she enjoys it. That's the most important thing is that she enjoys doing it. And, uh. Is that the best quality chainsaw? I think I have a better chainsaw over at the other base. We're going to take that mod. We want that mod. Uh, don't think there's anything else in here that I really want. We're not going to be using a bow anytime soon. I still don't have an auger schematic, right? We got to get out there and loot some stuff at some point. And I uh, got that auger just sitting there. All right, we took the forge, so that's no more. I'm going to take my cooking pot with me when I go this time. But uh, before we do anything, let me get out here and um, let's mine for iron and you know what? Before I even drive too far, let's mine for iron and clay and stone real quick and get that out of the way. Oh, there's my rot buster. Perfect. I, I was about to say, I don't think I had those on me, but there they are. And here we go. Sort, sort. Jump on the bike and ride. Sort. Sort. Michael Floyd. The Desert Eagle ammo. You think I already used that thing? Michael? Is it over at the other base, I assume? The Desert Eagle? I mean, I got about 600 rounds for that thing, you know? I mean, I even have enough. I can make another however many rounds. I got the gunpowder. Um, I don't see a Desert Eagle. Uh, so it must be at the other base base i can take that to stick on it and this i think those are the only gun mods that's junk that's junk auger safe cracker it's all the same right it's all the same <laughs> man <laughs> yeah i'm excited to get back on this little base over here this bunker this wasteland bunker Got to get it on the up and up. Got to get the traps going. We're going to get iron now because I need a lot of darts. Uh, I'm going to need about uh, about a few thousand. And we're not even going to worry about a horde base yet. We're, we're going to get to that, right? That'll be the last, the final thing we do. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is a questionable hole that I am in right now. Don't get yourself into questionable holes, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you know where you're, where you're putting your stuff. Nah, Mrs. Spartan won't be joining me, Jason, uh, for uh, a while, right? She's got uh, she's got 450 cookies to bake and decorate between now and Friday, along with a full-time job, right? So she's about like me; she's all over the place all the time. Now she'll probably join me sometime after the new year. We'll we'll start a series up or something. But I want to get there. There she is now, just getting home. Uh, but I want to get as far as I can get on this series before I kind of start splitting it up so many different ways. Is this a wandering horde or you all just happy to see me? Hey. Yes, yes, Ryan, I am full of those words of wisdom. <laughs> Black Cell Agent Roy. That's the fun of the mystery, Michael Floyd. Do you have a drum magazine mod? Oh, uh, we can't make that. I wish we could though, because I'd put that on everything I have, right? But we gotta we gotta get out there and, and loot some stuff. That I've not done a great job here the past few streams of doing that, but on purpose, I mean I had stuff to do, right? I, I wanted to I wanted to get that base going and you know get our stuff moved over. I had all kinds of things. There's just not enough time to do it all in a two, three hour period when I'm live, Robo. Justin, you are right, uh, but I don't have a coffee. I think I had one at the base. Dog on it. It's all right. It's all right. We're just going to scoop some of this stuff up to take back over there with us because we can't get clay over there that I'm aware of. Maybe there's clay somewhere in the wasteland, but I don't know where it's at. And there's no need to look for a little bit of clay here and there. We're going to just get it all right here. You know what I mean? Look, Jay Hunter, Engelbert, how are you both doing? Oh, Roy, 
it, it does hurt, Roy. It does hurt. I don't speak from experience, but I can only, I can only imagine. <laughs> I don't want to know. Now, I had a buddy that did one time, and he came to me, and he's like, hey, you know, my thing's like this, and it's like that, and I'm like, he's like, what should I do? I was like, dude, go to the doctor. Don't come to me. Hey, make sure you wash your hands, too, and don't touch that doorknob on the way out. I'll open the door for you. Like, just get out of here. I don't want that. Like, what am I... What was I supposed to tell him to do? Like, I had had something like that before. Hey, you know, it's uh, red and itchy and it's this and that. Like, what am I... I was like, what? 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 Get out of here, man. I don't know. Never had nothing nasty like that. Dog on it. Like I'm a doctor or something. Hey, folks. Somebody... Don't do this, right? Somebody tweeted my at my name earlier that they were somebody they knew or something was going live, right? And I guess they're just clout chasing. They're looking to try. They probably did it to a bunch of people, right? Not just me, but like, don't do that, right? Don't don't tag some content creator saying, "Oh, hey, I'm going live. Come check me out," right? Because that's not how you do it, right? That's not how you handle it. If you have a private conversation with that person or something, they give you a shout out. But like, when I go to Jonah's stream, if I were to say, hey, I'm going live in a couple hours, I would expect him to ban me right then from the channel permanently, right? And he would know that he would not do that either. He wouldn't, Jonah wouldn't come up in here and say, hey, I'm going live tomorrow morning. Go check. Like, he wouldn't do that, right? Uh, people are going to check you out. If you can't grow organically, then, you know, maybe it's not meant to be. Uh, I didn't do it, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't do it that got to where they were. So don't do not do that, right? And, and, it, and it all goes back to, too, that if I don't know what kind of content you create, like, I'm not going to plug it in all. You know, I mean, you could be uh, covering the same game I'm covering, but... I had a guy used to come by here. He's a longtime member of the channel. Hey, go check out my stream. And, you know, I was like, yeah, okay, we'll check your stream out. I just happened to think about it the next day and went over there. He was a white supremacist. He was just sit around his house oh, with his baseball cap on and talk racist stuff. And I was like, oh, my. I mean, I immediately banned him from the channel, right, when I knew that. But from that point on, I was like, okay, no more of this plug somebody and I don't know what they do or how they are or how they talk or you know like as far as what they like don't do that right don't do that people don't don't go tagging cage and saying hey you know I'm going live <laughs> don't do oh she didn't die she's dead now that's not how it works yeah that was a screamer but there are no zombies Oh, yeah, here comes the zombie. Oh. Yeah, I learned my lesson almost the hard way by plugging somebody that, you know. And there was another lady that, that uh, she used to come in here. I'm going live soon. Oh, got to go. Got to start my stream. Like, you know, like, like people don't know what she's doing there. But, and I went over and checked it out and it was awful. Like, not just the quality, but the what she was saying and stuff was awful. Like, you wouldn't want to sit there and watch that, right? So, you know, I kind of learned my lesson the hard way with just plugging random people that just stopped by it, you know. Even longtime people, that one guy was a longtime member. He was a white supremacist. All right, so you just don't know. But please don't tag. And not just me, don't tag anybody and say, hey, I'm going live. Don't do that, folks. I blocked that person on Twitter. I don't even know who it was, right? I didn't even recognize the name of the person that sent the tweet out, but. Mary B uses a mod for what? <laughs> oh, go to the doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Mary B's got the fix for that. If you want the fix for that, oh, she's got the fix for it, all right. Boom! <laughs> Yeah, Mary will fix you right up. Broken leg? No problem. I, I don't know about that, Alpha Wolf. I don't, I don't, 
I don't watch other content creators that, that cover seven days to die, right? That's just something. I've never really done that because it irks me that they do something some way that I don't do it. And I just want to get in there and do it for them. No, no matter how good they are or whatever, just you have your own method, your own way of doing stuff. So it's just like a, ooh, I, I just can't take that, right? So I just perp, uh, uh, you know, purposely uh, don't watch other content creators. Now we'll stop by Jonah's stream and I'll check him out um, because I've been supporting. He's been supporting me ever since before I started really making any seven days content over on Twitch when I was doing music. Guy's been around forever. He's a nice guy. He's genuinely a nice guy and he's a great player of the game. But I'll stop by there. Either I come by here for lunch or I'll, I'll go uh, I'll go by there on my breakfast and I'll, I'll renew my little subscription thing with him or something like that. But... Um, Uh, and Jimmy, same thing with Jimmy. Uh, I don't think Pixel streams live. I think he just makes videos, but uh, but they are quality videos, right? He does a great job with that, but I just don't watch it, right? I, I just can't watch it. I can watch Jonah because his play style is a lot different, and he plays at a very high level, so uh, I'll watch a little bit of that, but I, I genuinely just don't have time, right? You tell me to come check something out, I just don't. Have, if I got time to check out somebody playing some seven days, I need to be making content playing seven days, right? So. Um. What's up, Padre? How you doing, man? Andre? Oh, there are, there are, uh, Russell. I mean, you'll see if you ever go live, <laughs> you'll see. There are a lot of good people too, but there's some crazies out there. Amy Graham, what's up? Amy, uh, how's, um, is it medieval or Derek Johns? Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused, Amy. Uh, please, please uh, set me straight, ma'am. Is it medieval or Derek Johns? We just got to change our location here because we got booger ladies are going to come to the chunk I'm in. So I figured I'd let the other chunk cool off for a minute and I come over here and then we'll go back over there and scoop up just a teeny tiny little bit more iron. What's up, Big Tex? Andre? Why you attacked, Andre? Are you playing seven days and you're getting attacked? Is that what's happening? There's a wolf right there. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and it's silence too. Silence too. Flip flop, it medieval, medieval. That's what. Uh, I'm sorry, Amy. I'll go on it. I hope medieval's doing well, and I hope you are also. What are you gonna do, man? Come rolling up on me? Got time for that? We got a base to get finished over there. Screeching up at me like that. Okay, Natasha. Oh, yeah, good to hear, Amy. Still alive? What you mean, Suki? I'm. Hold up. I am speaking to you from the afterlife, Suki. I am no longer with you. You are watching a ghost. What? What you talking about, man? Oh. You watch so many you don't have time to play? Yeah, I mean... That's it. You know, everybody's got their own thing, right? And it's like this, too. You could go to Cage, or you could come to myself, or any content creator, and you could try to attract viewers from their streams or channels to yours, but 
People are attracted to certain type of content, certain type of personalities, and yours just might not match that. What? Like, okay, perfect example is uh, is Jonah, right? A lot of his viewers are not going to watch this channel, and a lot of my viewers are not going to watch his channel. It's nothing to do with the, you know, it's not good content. It's, it, you know, it's the fact that they're just different. They're different times. Uh, they're, they're, they're different uh, personalities, different gameplay style. I mean, there's just all of that factors into it, right? So not everyone is for every uh, everyone and uh, every type of content. So... Yeah, the ghost of Grand Spartan past. I'm coming back to haunt you. What's up, Edwin? Oh, I'm, I did not. I was reading chat. That's why you don't text and drive right there, folks. Don't do it. Then you got to get off your motorcycle and do that. I don't want to do that. Darn you for making me do that and stepping in my way. <laughs> Your cat plays with ghosts that live right under the floor, huh? Hmm. You started your day healthy eating a peach, two prunes, then you decided to go fishing and there's only... <clears throat> there's only was beer? Now it's 8 p.m. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Put it down, man. Put it down. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm glad I could be here tonight and, you know, create a little content here live. Work on this base some. We just got to knock this out at the beginning of the stream and while folks gather, I'll be uh, finishing up the mining here in just a moment. And um, shouldn't be much more of that, if, if any of that, the rest of the stream, right? Uh, we should have all the mining out of the way. I just want to get this next little layer right here taken out. And then we good. Oh yeah, Mary's uh, <clears throat> Mary's house is built on a on an old graveyard. That's probably what it is. Right? Probably got a bunch of Native Americans or maybe soldiers from the uh, Revolutionary War or something buried up under there, Mary. No need to be very concerned about that. I mean, maybe somewhat concerned, but you know, you'll probably be okay. <laughs> Mary's sleeping with one eye open now. Hberg, what's up? I'm going zombies up there. I got time for that. You're not cleaning up for a ghost, Mary? Well, how's a ghost supposed to clean up after herself? What kind of manners are those, Mary? They're just guests, right? Yeah, the cat has a friend that the uh, cat's talking to. Or an enemy, or a frenemy. All right, let's take this little bit out and we're heading back. We gotta get it all smelted. Smelted. Hey, man. Oh. Oh, you just came to bring me that. Okay, that's real cool of you. Oh, you just falling up in here now, huh? Edgar, don't do that! Oh, this must have been a wandering horde. I'm right here, sir. Sir! What are you crawling all around for? Get down here. Ooh. Oh. Edgar, oh, Edgar's just wanting to... He's need, he needed some clay also. That's all Edgar needed. Another level, four skill points. Right, we spent all of ours the other day because we uh, had to unlock the mini bike. It's medieval right there. Hey, Max, what's up? Thank you for subscribing and uh, welcome 
to the stream. It was evil. Monday? No, no. No, no. I had, um, I finished up with everything and I won't be streaming on Friday. Uh, those of you who come by uh, every stream and support the channel, I really appreciate you and, you know, I won't be streaming on Friday. I'll be, uh, you know, Friday is, uh, it's Christmas Eve, right? So I'll be doing some things with the family and I think we're going to watch a movie. A little Christmas movie, a little Die Hard, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to watch, but we're going to watch a little movie and, uh, and just chill out. Have some little family time. So I won't be uh I won't be live on Friday. Oh, we need to fat. We need to fat and I take my three corn. Ammo, well, that's a bunch of nine millimeter right there. We don't really need that, do we? But we do need uh I'll probably come back and grab these radiators. Maybe the feathers at some point. I don't know. Um you know, I could modify this and take that tank off. And if we do have that five quality chainsaw, oops, over at the base, the other base, I'll stick it on that. I'd love to perk into this. If I got all the books, I would definitely. And I even thought about, since I had to max out intellect, maybe going with the robotic turrets and having two of those to assist me. I don't know. I don't know. Just talk. Right? It's just talk. It's all that is medieval. I don't see anything else. A brain and some fat. Oh! 100 cloth. I said we were out of cloth the other day, but nope. We still got some. All right. Uh, our home is here. And we're going to waypoint it. And we're going to get up, 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 and away we go. Oh, it's dark. But there's no light on this thing, huh? We just had to fly into the abyss. You're going to have to look at about a minute and a half of abyss. And hopefully I don't crash into a mountain. Let me go way higher than that. Because I'll crash into the side of a mountain and I'll have to get off and carry it down. Make storage because I don't have, uh, it's full, right? Arendelle and Neil, what up? The turret has a new ammunition type. I know, I tested that in my test world about, um, two, three days ago. And it, it's not very good, right? Well, the armor piercing is. The, uh, oh, there are the trees. The uh, shotgun thing, not so great, right? I was in my test world and I spawned in a um, a biker. And the regular ammo killed him pretty quickly. The armor piercing ammo killed him very quickly. The shotgun ammo that goes in there, whatever that is, it would not kill him. Is that afraid? What's up? What up, Bobo? Same to you. Bobo, thank you. Uh, get an East Bay Jordan. Yeah, thank you, Russell. I'm here when I can be, sir. I'm here when I can be. I still haven't started any form of a recorded series. I want to do it. Um, and I just have not had the chance to, to get anything going. I did get the Mrs. Well, I'm getting an o overloaded encoder right now. Oh, boy. Does anybody, does it look bad or something? Maybe it's all the black on the screen? I don't understand, but my encoder is overloaded at 92%. Um, yeah, I don't know how high I am, Mary. I don't know. I'm just trying not to crash into stuff. I wanted to go over that mountain, but it's dark. Oh, there we go. I can see the buildings now. Yeah, is it? Is the stream skipping and stuff? It must be, because I don't know why my encoder is overloaded, though. That doesn't make sense. That's really strange. It's not done that before. But that's got the encoding overload warning. Yeah, 
it's just dark. That's all I was seeing. I couldn't see anything but black, but I was just making sure that, you know, the stream was okay. It wasn't like freezing or something like that because encoding overload means that it's, uh, you know, that's not good. It means that that's not good. <laughs> that's what it means. All right, got to slide it up in there. Make sure this is loaded. Uh, let's just press R and take all that we can take. Okay, I'm back down to 30% now. Maybe that dark, that black screen is, uh, is a load for the, you know, streaming computer or something. I never paid attention to that before. That's kind of strange. I don't know. Let's stick our ammo in here. Oh, boy. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Gunpowder. Sort. Mods and parts and parts and mods and probably guns and coffee and gas and all. what all do I have in here, man? Um, I guess we can sell that. That goes into the money chest. This will be food and first aid for now. Food and first aid. Then we got the urn. Got to stick the urn up in here. Cobblestone. Let's get 6K clay. Which one was for iron? This one, right? Yeah, this one. Okay, so we don't really need clay. We got 14,000 of that. Let's just do that. Okay, that makes sense. Now, that's good. Put this back. Um, crafting. Got that. You record your stream on a streaming PC also. I used to, Neil, but I never really used that. Um, uh, uh, thank you, uh, William and Critical and Youngin. No, Youngin. I am, I'm from the opposite of New Jersey. <laughs> All right. Dennis, Smitha Yee, Car Cam. Uh, just catching up what you're saying here. How do I select a person to respond to be highlighted? Andre, you have to type the at symbol. Just like that. At and then that person. That's how you have to do it. Oh, that pooped out quickly. Look how fast that pooped out. Okay. Okay. Uh, these blocks are made 238 cobblestone shapes. We can make 495. Let's do 250. Oh, no, no, 25. Hold me together, but oh, Just type the right number in there, man. There it is. Thank you. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. We got our dart traps, electric fence posts, some switches, some pressure plates. Now we're just missing the darts. Once all that iron gets to go in there be uh a okay got concrete cubes too i'm excited i got that many concrete cubes and could have more uh let's do a sort and see how many one two three four hundred five hundred six seven hundred we already have 500 let's do another 200 in this bench right here uh cement or con concrete shapes 200 okay oh antibiotics we can stick up in there we got to get our base all sorted and you know Way it's supposed to be and then when i get um when i get more gunpowder going lamar iron in the crafting box iron in the crafting box i usually do that on purpose uh i do that in case i need iron for crafting something i'll do that but uh yeah i, I really didn't need it for anything i could make another stack of cobblestone blocks or cobblestone not blocks just cobblestone I heard a zombie. Anybody else hear a zombie? Anybody else hear that? Hey! What is your name? Oh, it's 4.30 in the morning. Oh, whoa, whoa, man. You got issues right there, sir. You need to have that looked at. 
I'm sorry, sir. Man, he takes a lot of whacking. Oh, you're European. Okay, okay. Yeah, you wouldn't know. No, nah, I mean, so just this is just a stereotype. I really don't know anyone from New Jersey and never had. But they're like, hey, I'm going to park the car. Don't they talk like that? I'm going to park the car and go to the pool. Don't they talk like that? Some people. I guess that's kind of Bostonian sort of sounding also. But I, I did know, a, well, not really knew them, but. There's some girls from, um, from, from Jersey. Yeah, they're from Jersey, right? They're from Jersey. And they kind of talk like that. <laughs> like, oh, okay. All right. It's funny, you know, because uh, we're all here in the United States, not that far apart from each other, but the accents, boy, they just, it's incredible how much they vary. That's what it is. That's what it is. They, they, uh, the Jersey. Go to the pool. Oh, oh, but about what do you, he hit me? Sounds like my Aussie accent. <laughs> Good eye, Mike. <laughs> Daryl, I bet I sound just like your neighbor, don't I, Daryl? They're like, man, is that Carl? Is that Carl? I just heard talking. Is that Spartan talking like, oh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know anybody that's from there, but, uh, you know, they have a very unique accent. I don't know that. They're from there, they do. Probably certain parts. What's up, honey badger? All right. Put that there like this and get it all smoothed out looking and nice and pretty. Yeah, that's looking good. Well, this is a quick way to get stoned right here, too, isn't it? Just all of the wasteland. You get sand and stone from all of this. You know what I mean? Carl from Carl's Corn is an Aussie Billy. Okay, Bostonia is nothing like New Jersey. Yeah, I, I don't know, Logan. Uh, I've never been to either place before, so I just kind of stereotype them and lump them all together that they're just different, right? <laughs> I guess Boston's like pot the car. And then uh, Jersey is New Jersey. Yeah, I don't know. You see them on TV, right? These TV shows. And I watched a show a while back called Ray Donovan, and I think they were from... Uh, I think they were from Boston. Southie? That's what the wife was supposed to be. And that was a pretty heavy, hard accent to hear, you know. So, I don't know. And I'm sure not everyone's going to talk like that, even if you're from there, right? It's probably all your location there. Because we have places in the state that I live in where people just totally different accent, depending uh, upon the, you know, area in the state that you're at. But, uh... Canadians, uh, instead of about, they say a butt. I'm about to go. I'm about to go get some metal syrup. I don't know. That's kind of sound like a, a leprechaun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We have to ask Bob that question. Bob ain't going to be here on a Monday. Almost as good as my Scottish. It's... I'm from Scotland. Cooper. <laughs> yeah, I think all my accents sound the same, right? I think that's that's what we've all decided here. A boot. I'm a boot to go and kill some zombies. You know, Eric, if he were here, his accent's a little different because he's French Canadian, right? So he's uh, he's much different than your average Canadian accent. Because uh, I was friends with a guy for a little while from uh, Toronto, and you'd never you'd think he was from Jersey or someplace, right? He had no, and he was born there, and he didn't have a Canadian accent at all. A boot? It's a boot. 
A butt. It's, it's not a butt, Mary? I thought it was a butt. I'm a butt. Oh, here comes the booger lady. Turn the light off. Hide in the corner. Pop her in the head when she comes through the door. Oh, we're about to take care of this little problem. I think I got her. 40 rounds later, I think she's dead. Mama. Oh, she saw me. Oh, mama. Oh, I don't want to shoot you in the hoo-ha, mama. Right, there we go. Was that a Scottish Canadian that I just did? I think it was. I think it was. Angry Scotsman! What's this about? <laughs> What's this about? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just, we're just making things up now. <laughs> all right. Well, I got to get my defenses up, but we got to get rid of the rest of all of this cobblestone around each entrance. Or this uh, destroyed stone and get cobblestone down. Oh, I, remind me, folks. I don't want to say it right yet. We'll do it when a few more folks gather, but I got a question for all of you. Yeah. Yeah, I like sending a lot of lead for this for the booger ladies. A lot of lead. We got a whole lot of lead. We got a whole lot of lead. Anything in there? Nothing. Get off of me! You, you go away! Now. Now you're out of my way. Uh, my favorite seven days youngin I don't I just uh, was talking about that earlier I don't I purposely don't watch anyone that covers this right because if I do I'm gonna lose my mind because they don't do things the way I do things and I just want to reach through the screen and do it for them and it just irks me right even if they're doing it right in their own little way or whatever I can't I can't do it I can't take it and um I've been that way ever since I started playing. And then, what's up, Kiri? Thank you for subscribing. And also, if um, if I'm watching someone cr create content, I should probably be creating some of my own, right? If I got time to sit there and watch it, that means I got time to make my own. So, yeah, I don't. There's there's not free time here to you know do that kind of thing to watch someone. Uh, but I, like I said, I will stop by Jonah's stream sometimes and uh, and drop him a little subscription thing, say hi, hang out for a few minutes. Same with Jimmy, uh, but uh, but that's it, right? Those two guys, uh, you know, Jonah Birch is is probably the top of the food chain for you know his quality and uh, uh, the skill that he plays at. But augers can kill everything but zombies and storage chest. Yes, yes. There's Bob. Bob says, when we apologize, we say sorry. And if you insult hockey, it's followed by a cross check to the mouth. Wouldn't that be a... Just a cross or a hook, Bob? <laughs> How you doing, Bob? If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. That's that's how that's how uh, Mary, you know, she handles her life. She's got to help her over at the house, and she's like, "Hey, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean." Yep, yep, that's right, Mary. I I don't uh, I just don't have time. I sh you know I should be at the Grand Outdoors, which I actually got out there today, and. Um, and I got some things done, so I was excited to uh, to get back out there. It's, it's been a little while since I've been able to go there. Just haven't had time, right? Um, 
you know, we have merch that we could do for the Grand Outdoors, but I don't know who, you know, I don't know what we would do and who would wear that, but there's a link to my other channel if you're uh, interested in that type of thing. Well, this is done. This side is done, and this side is done. We got to get it all set up now. So, uh, I'd say right there is a good place. Let's go get our traps. And I think we have a generator here that I brought back. If not, I should be able to make one. Do I not have a generator? Did I not bring a generator back with me over here? Oh my goodness. No generator? I, I thought I had a generator somewhere. There are no generators in this base. You see a generator? Am I missing it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I found the generator, folks. <laughs> okay. Uh, fence post, pressure plate, and a dart trap with some darts. Okay. Right. It's hockey vocabulary in winter GS. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know that, sir. Only thing I know about hockey is I just go to watch them kind of play fight with each other. All right. That's, that's the only reason I'd ever gone to see him. And they don't, you know, where the ones that I went to watch, that's that's what they did. They didn't really play hockey as much as they would fight. Right. That was the only reason I was interested in it. And it was a good time watching them fight, you know. Uh, they're all skating around like little ballerinas and every once in a while somebody punched somebody in the mouth. So that, was, that was a good time. Good time. Good time. I don't know if I should do one or two. Let's start with one and test it out and see what it does, how well it does. I have a feeling it's going to do all right, but I don't know that now. I'm just, you know, going to do a whole lot of extensive testing upon this, but uh, I hope it will work. I don't know if I should put that in there or put that in here. Kind of makes sense that we'd put it in there, but then I don't know how we get around to this thing. We're going to have wires strewn all over the place. I hope I brought a wire tool, Cheryl. What's up, Ryan? Is it an off day? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Ryan, thank you for telling me that. I'll see you all later. I'm kidding, Ryan. It is an off day, but I just, I was available, all right? So we're here and we're doing this. If you're telling me I came all the way over here and I brought all that stuff, but I didn't have a wire tool. I did not bring a wire tool to this base. Shame on you for not telling me and shame on me for not bringing it. Really? Oh boy. What's up, Dennis and Matt? Mod's chest. Boy, I, I haven't had enough caffeine yet. That's what it is. I don't see it in there, but I got a five quality chainsaw and another five quality auger. Ryan? No, no. No, no, Ryan. You're good, man. I, I really haven't. I really haven't explained it a whole lot. I hate to craft something and then I probably just had it sitting right there, right? It's probably right there. I gotta I gotta spend nine steel and mechanical parts for that. Ugh. I'm saving my steel up. That one's making something. This one's making something too. Wire tool. Might be able to make it in my inventory. No, I can't make it in my inventory. Just craft it right there. Cancel the cobblestone. Cob. Free Ferdy, what's up? Mark Carter. Yeah, time for a flight back. Oh, man. All right. All right. Well, we're smelting the stuffs. Going to get some more steel going. Oh, we need darts. Darts. That's what I wanted out of this. We can do a thousand. That's pretty good. That's a good amount. Um, Okay, well, this wire tool will be ready in a minute. It takes two minutes to make a wire tool. Oh, that is painful. Very painful. Jeez. Uh, I hope I can pick this up. 
If I mess that up, can I make a trigger plate? Trigger plate. I can make a trigger plate if I need to. Some wire relays? Nah, I'll be good. We're just going to string this thing together for now. I'll stick some stuff in the ground later. Oh, that's concrete. We don't want that right yet. That'll be for some base building. Some horde base building right there, fellas. Keep the steel rolling and I need another... Uh, I need another forge that's going to do iron, but I don't think... Uh, crucible. I can make a crucible, but I don't have another bellows. 116 likes. Thank you, folks. Wire tools are precision instruments, Jeffrey. Yeah, I could have flown there and back in that time. I don't care how precise it's got to be. It's just a, this thing is, you can get this for a dollar at Harbor Freight, this little tool. Talk about precision. Come on now. Come on now. No precision tool. This is just some junk that they made in China for like, 12 cents and marked it up to a dollar to make, you know, a few cents profit. Did I have an engine? Well, I got I to gotta go to the big boys room here in just a minute. I ain't going to lie. I just got in. I sat down. I was like, you know what? We're going we're gonna to do this thing. I just ran up here and sat down. And Is that head high? That doesn't seem head high. That is not head high. Let's go advanced placement and see if we can get this thing to flip around the other way. That's head high right there. See the arrow at the top? The arrow is going to come, or the arrow is going to come out. The, the dart's going to come out of there. Um, so I think with the trigger plate, we got to go here. No, that's not right. I need a better place for the generator. Maybe I just stick it on the floor in here. I don't know. Stick some darts in there. Lock it. Oh, boy. I don't want to die. Eh. Okay, it works. So, instant. Eight seconds, I guess. Well, Threnified, what's up? Yeah, the version I have here in this game is just, you know, I found this thing laying on the ground and I wiped or scrubbed the rust off of it and there, there it is. Well, booger ladies can come if they want. I, I got that buddy. got that thing right there is going to shoot you in the head. And I guess the wire tool or the uh, fence post, yeah, the fence posts are good. So we just got to do this three more times and then we are totally fine from Wandering Hordes and Booger Ladies. Go up on the wall and pull a zombie. Uh, hello? Zombie? Why is my thing on bypass? Oh. Hold up, folks. Check one, two. Check. Uh, hold up. Something in right. Hello? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Ah. A fuse box? Wait, what, Missy? Not a, a fuse box? You must be thinking about a mod, Missy. Yeah, I don't know anything about a fuse box. I know something about a squeeze box, and Mama had one. Anybody know that song? That was a paid request one time. I had to learn that song. Mama's got a squeeze box? I had never heard that song before until I had to learn it. But that's how a lot of songs came to be for me. And my knowledge of it was just... It was a request 
I learned it. And that was that. You know, I have to put this one a little bit closer because if I put this one here, of course, the generator is probably not a good place to stick it on this anyway. Um, let's see. One, two, three. We'll just stick it there. Why not? You know what I mean? I got to go get another dart trap. Yeah, you can hear me now though. What's up, Power Punch? Never a zombie around when you need one. Yeah, they just come around when we don't want them. What happens? That's what always happens. No, it's just going to be a matter of time. Yeah, we're going to get booger ladies uh, on top of booger ladies wrapped in booger ladies. Very soon. Because we're going to have more forges going. Very soon. Uh, generator. Oh, I gotta make more generators. While we're just standing around, I need to make three more generators. Uh, crafting. We need uh, forged iron. This. E springs? I don't know. Let's see. Generator bank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can make those things right now. Uh... Generator bank by three. Oh, by two? By two? Oh, I need forged iron. Forged iron. Craft that. Cancel this. Go to darts. Do that 500 of those. Take these darts out. How much is it? Oh, yeah. I got one now. I'm good. Generator bank. Craft. Cancel. Cobble. Not Kapobble, cobble, craft it, take these out, make them into cobblestone shapes, and we good. All right, put all my crafty stuff back. Logan's crafty. He's just my style. I don't even know what that's from. I don't know why I know that, but I do. Sort. Hmm. We can take this and that. And you and you can go over to this thing and make more concrete mix. 1,200 to be exact. Oh, thank you, Jamal. It was just kind of a slap together, you know. But uh, this can be very dangerous right here. It can. And uh, might have to think of a different way in and out. I didn't want to put a wall up where they're just going to beat on the wall and beat holes in it every time a booger lady comes up or, a, you know, you give them a place to walk through like this, they're going to walk through it. No problemo. They're going to walk through there and then they're going to get got. And that's what I wanted. All right. Let's uh, let's clean the, uh, the other sides up while we wait on those generators to craft. Ah. Uh, Kazar? Or is it Kazare? Hi. What's up, Ricky? Ricky, I am doing well. Thank you. Thank you for asking, and I hope you are also. Hope everyone's ready for Christmas. Oh, you got the boogeyman! You got the boogeyman! You doggone boogeyman, he got that thing. Yeah. What you gonna do? Laying there all dead on my pressure plate. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, we gotta get all of them up now, though. Hey, let me go ahead and get a generator and stick the other one on the other side, because I got a, I got a feeling we're about to get some booger ladies up in here. Got 10 seconds on the other one. No, no, she's crafty. She's just my style. There's a song. Oh, uh, I told you. Did the booger lady scream? I think a booger lady screamed somehow. I don't even know how they saw me. Oh, yeah. Booger lady's coming.
Oh, that was a radiated zombie. Or a feral zombie. Two booger ladies dead. Any more? I'm going to crouch so that thing can't zap me. Oh, he's going around to this side. I don't even know how she could have seen me. Use motion sensors to turn on the power to the pressure plates so that you can set them to enemies only. Probably need to, Mr. Beeswees. Something's beating upon me. Oh, they're coming in the other way. That's why we got to get it all finished. So there's no place for them to come in where they're not going to get zapped. You know what I mean? Oh, this is a wandering hordes what this is. Oh, I popped his head. Popped his head too. Oh. Hello. There's Mrs. Spartan. Hello. Well, where are you going? Uh, I'll pass. Thank you. Hey, hold up. Uh, hold up, folks. All right, I'm back. Here we go. Cooper? Yeah, I mean, that's fine, though, if I go through a lot of darts, as long as I don't have to fire my bullets or defend against, uh, you know, the, the doggone screamers, as long as it gets them. I mean, I'm setting it on uh, eight seconds. Just... I don't know how long it's going to take to kill a radiated zombie, but if it's only set to like, so they walk through this, right? And they make it through the fence post. They're shocked for two or three seconds, and then they make it through. If that thing shuts off after they step off the plate after a second or two, then they're just going to get on in anyway. So I wanted to keep shooting for at least six or eight seconds. What's up, Larry? Until they're dead, right? That's what I want. I don't know how long that takes. But I know if we get this thing all wired up the way I want to, we can just set it and forget it. And that's fine. Darts are cheap, right? I can make tens of thousands of the... Look, I made a base that took 470,000 darts, right? 470,000. That was in a solo series I did by myself. So if I can do that, a little 500 here, 500 there ain't much of nothing, right? I ain't too worried about it. Let's go six seconds. Six seconds. Got to get an engine in there. I mean, it's going to save me having to constantly fight these silly screamer hordes that come in. Ugh. What's up, Mia? Okay. Let's see this. Afonso, Larry, Dorian, Shannon. Did I miss all of them? The bushwhacker? Hey, you gonna steal the idea, bushwhacker? Well, I hope it works out as well for you as it did for me, sir. Because it seems to be working well, right? And then, you're into wasteland, right? So you don't want all these wasteland boogeymen coming over into your base. Well, that's it. But if you just put up a wall, they're gonna chew holes in your wall. I don't care if it's made of tungsten. They're coming through it at some point, and you got to keep fixing your wall. It could be running around in your stuff. But when the booger lady comes in a minute to all of the forges I'm about to have going, yeah, she's just going to step into that, right? Well, let's go ahead and get this one set up, too. I'll uh, I'll work around it. I'll work. Uh, I'll auger around all this stuff, but let's just get it in place. And that's three sides done. Uh, hold on one second. Say hello to everybody. I don't think they heard that. You gotta get. Hello. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Goodbye. Minnie's going. Going out tonight to a friend's house. So. Just saying goodbye. Two, three. Guess that's a good distance back. Right there. Guess that feels right. Does it feel right? 
think it does. A dart trap. Advanced. And everybody's coming up here. Had the whole family up here now so far. The stream is an off day, though, folks. They're just as confused as you are. They're like, wait. Dad streaming? What? There it is. Right there. All right. Uh, fence posts need to be installed. Yeah. I had a lot of those too. I was gonna do it a dual fence post. I was gonna do one here and one there, but a one might be enough. One might be enough. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because that's not gonna be the only darts we're gonna be pumping out either. No, no. We're about to go into full production factorio kind of mode pumping out darts soon, because we're gonna have those in our horde base also, right? Not just over here at the little crafting base. This is just to protect the wall. We're gonna have a a real horde base in just a short. Okay, that goes. Oh. There. Here. To. There. And then, uh. This to. There. And we want these powered 100% of the time, right? Here. Okay. And you probably could. Can I make a motion sensor? I don't think this dart trap is hitting her. Oh, it's hitting him. It got a what the? What you take that right there? It looks like it's going off to the side, or is it just going through her body? Ma'am, is that going through your body? I can't tell. I don't know. I need to heal though. What's up, Tamara? Shannon? You know, I think there are a lot of bases that are going to work early game. Uh, when you get today, when you get a certain game stage and the demos and the radiated cops start showing up three and four and five at a time, that's when it really takes that next level horde base. You know what I mean? That's when it takes, that's when you got to take it to the next level. And um, we're going to kind of prepare ourselves for that here sometime soon. Wait, did I get all this wired the way I wanted it? Oh, no, no, that's not wired to this. Okay, it's on now. Uh, oh, yeah, darts. Boom. Lock, ammo, ready to go. Nurses? Isn't that weird, though? Because it looked like the dart was shooting over here. It was hitting the rest of them, but it was not hitting her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to just keep testing it as we uh, move forward. Get it all done. But I got to get my uh, generator out here so we can finish the last, the final side. And I'll put in dual fence post if I got to, right? I'll do that because that's what I made so many for. So we could have dual fence post. But. Well, it looks so much better when you get all this nasty old destroyed stone out of here. New scrub super armor? Yeah, maybe. She's one of the newer ones. You wonder if her hitbox is screwy? Could be. Uh, could be, but it kind of looked like the dart was either going through her or it just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I wouldn't worry about the nurse. Look, as long as it's getting the screamer, 
before she can come up in here and see me and scream. That's all that matters. We'll probably even do the wall one higher. I think it needs to be one higher because um, it, that just the, the higher you make it, the harder it is for the uh, for the screamer to see you, right? So maybe maybe we do that. Oh, that's a cop. Oh, that was a big guy. Face down. Ha ha ha. Face down. Oh, wait. I can't do that. I can't say that on stream. Face down. That's the way I like it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. You probably don't. I don't know what I'm talking about here, folks. I'm, I'm a little loopy right now. Right? I didn't eat a good dinner. I got a dog. I got a dog. Where the heck did you come from, man? Coming up, rolling up in my base. I should put the, the thing right there. Is where I should put it. Do I not have a, a real way to hack things up? Do I not have a knife somewhere? Jason Dunn, dun, 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 dun. Well, Jason, the problem with that is if you put one dart trap right there, it's only going to get them as they're standing here. I did a little test with this on my test world, um, and they will eventually slide out of that fence post. The radiated zombies do, and they make it on through this area. But if you put it here, it's going to hit them the whole time they're coming down there. And I got a good of mine to put this right there in the first one. So the dart trap already starts shooting them. But um, yeah, I can make a little bone knife or something. But I think I have an actual knife somewhere too. So Well, there was nothing over there for a dog, right? There was nothing over there uh, at all. No fence post or nothing. But the fence post is going to get the dog. I'm pretty sure the fence post will get the dog. But it doesn't really matter. This is not a dog defense. It's Really, it's not a, a normal zombie defense. It's going to be for booger ladies. I don't want the screamers coming over here when I'm away or even here. And I got all these forges going, which I'll have going here soon. And constantly screaming in hordes. Uh, it'll it'll zap the screamer before they get the opportunity to do that. That's that's what this is all about, and uh, and why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. I just don't want to have uh, screamers infecting my, uh, you know, constantly coming up in here and, and causing issues. That could that would be a pain. Uh, constantly have to fight off screamers all the time. I'm I'm just gonna get all fancy with it and. Um, and try to take care of them this way. Other zombies we can deal with. We can just deal with them. But screamers? Ugh. We don't want to have to deal with them if we don't want to have to deal with them. Rush B, no stop. What up? You're looking for a therapeutic hobby? Taking up the cello? Um, yeah, I mean... Any kind of musical instrument's good, right? Gaming is even good. Get all zoned out in another world and forget about your problems. All that stuff, but... Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Now, let's turn this on. Let's stick an engine in. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all I know is... Uh, I did it because my mom forced me to do it when I was a little kid. And then I actually got good at it, right? And uh, just stuck with it. Alright, that's not but 28 darts. So we gotta go get some mirror darts. Eh. Iron darts. Another thousand. Nice. Get a 500 stack in every one of them would be good. We can get them loaded. That'd be even better. I got him. I got him. You got him. Ow. Yeah, we might have to do what uh, old Jeffrey was talking about. And um, 
we might have to <laughs> we might have to get a motion sensor on those so we got to weigh in and out right i mean i could just do this little thing right here where i got a ladder on the inside you know what i mean i could put a little ladder let's do that this was the, the whole idea of what i planned on doing um but it would be kind of nice to be able to just go in and out as I please other ways. Wait. Wait, why is there a block right here? Who put that there? I, you know, I didn't put this here. Yeah, I gotta do that. Nah, I didn't connect it. Yeah, I'm still working on this side. Well, that's a tree for uh, for lumber. Lumber. Lumbar. What's up, Timmy? An electric vault door attached to a motion sensor to hold them in place. It burns! Okay. So right here. This block right here. All right, we can just zip over. Okay, I think all of it is done now. Is it all done? Uh, I tell you what, let's take these out real quick. We'll lock it. Oh yeah, it's gonna spit them out. It's gonna spit them out. Lock it. Done. I think it's done we need another little ladder system on the other side but i want to do something cool up here tonight too we got to get a little lookout we got to get ourselves a little lucky now uh, what i'm about to do folks i hope it doesn't cause structural integrity issues and cause all this to fall because i don't have a backup of this uh save and we might be about to lose everything we got i'm just saying it i'm just throwing that out there after what happened before you just don't ever know and I'm about to I'm about to break some blocks up in here. And I don't know what's gonna happen when I do. It is what it is. If it breaks, if he dies, he dies. I'll stick that there and kind of creep blocks right there. Alright, cross your somethings, folks. Oh, that's right, Vlad. That's really important. Thank you, Vlad. Timer. I gotta set the timer on this thing. Six seconds. Wasn't there a movie called that? Maybe it was 60 seconds. Gone in 60 seconds, or I don't know. <laughs> Doggy doo doo. What up? Go Doggy doo doo. How are you? Doggy do. Do. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Nothing fell. Feeling pretty fortunate. Now we're going to pile a whole bunch of weight up here. <laughs> if, if that didn't make it fall, this might. Yeah, on the catwalk. On the catwalk. Yeah, I do my little thing on the catwalk. Mm -mm -mm -hmm -hmm. So I need this one. I need this one. A V2 plate. Let's put this away. And put that away. Put this here. There. And here. So for slot number two. I need uh, mm, which one is it is it this one I think it's that one all right and for slot number three I need this one Let's see is this right if I do this one two three four five six seven eight And uh, this is going to be tricky. I don't know if I can do this. No, I can do this. 
All right, we need one more slot. Let's take these down here. And let's go, um, bars. Bars. And we're going to go advanced placement. Huh. Just go to the right place, man. Oh, there, oh I had it. Kind of. Sort of. I don't know if I like that or not, though. Uh, I think I'm going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's smooth as butter right there. Mrs. Butterworth. Angled support beams they do, John. Moha. Do I need yeah, a boy named Sue, yes. What's up, Cookie? I'm doing well, Cookie. Thank you. I hope you are also. Increasing the height of the wall by one more. Yeah. I mean we could encase this whole thing in concrete if we wanted to. And have a base inside a base. Inside another base. Why do I keep getting thirsty? I'm cold. Not hot. I mean I'm hot too, you know. Is that right? Did I do that right? I feel like I didn't do that right. Uh huh. Uh, did I? Is that right? Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a bar. A boot. It's a boot. It's a boot time. But you got it right and figured out. Is that right? I think that's right. Uh -huh. Just in case things get a little tricky. Get out of hand. Oh, that was a cop. Notice I said was a cop. Flip, what's up? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Flip. Roger? Hello. Oh, thank you, Roger. Uh, thank you. Thank you for checking out the content. Wouldn't be possible without all of you fine folks coming to check it out. See if I can teeter on the edge here. I'm living on the edge. Just building on the edge is all. Boy, I, I got to get down. I, I got to get down and test something. I got to build my way up with the wooden frames. Let's just get here. Let's take that out. Let's click on. Th I got one round. Man, did I pick the right? I did. Okay. All right, we got to we got to figure this out because I don't think that's right. What I got right there. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Let me get up there and, and check it. Shadowrunner. Um, thank you, Kazar. Is it Kazari or Kazar? I, I'd like to try to get them as right as I can. Okay, now that's that feels right. It just it just feels right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the trader's about to close? I didn't even get over there today to see what he had. Of course, I don't have any money anyway, but we're going to probably do some questing over here in the wasteland. I want to do. I want to do some questing in the wasteland. I don't know if I like the way that looks or not, but... I wanted a little way to... Protect my stuff over here. Up top if I needed to, you know what I mean? If the horizontal bars are facing down instead of up. So what I wanted it to be like is... Um, I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know if that's, a, I don't know if that's what I was really looking for here. 
I think what I should do is take this one out right here and make the angle part go across the edge of the base. You know what I mean? I think this looks a little silly. Let's check that out and see what that looks like if I do that. Well, I, I tell you what. Uh, let's do it on this side. Let's do it on this side instead. Is that what I was saying I was going to do? No, because you got to have the bar. And then this would be hanging out right there. So let me get the bar put on this thing right here. Got to get it on the right. Oh, I almost fell. That's a, that's a definite broken leg if I fall off of this thing. Okay. And then here. Uh, flat. And here. That's what I wanted. What I did was not what I wanted. No, no, that's still, that's still right. It's still right because I, I, I got it. It's got to be that way. It can be any way you want it to be, folks. I'm just being picky right now, that's all. Just being picky! <laughs> okay, get the bars in place. I just like to have a little place up here, a little shooty place. You know, we might use that doggone sniper rifle that Logan likes using. Since we got one with the scope, we can just pick them off. Like boogers. That is not right. What did you what did you just do, man? Mm-hmm. Now we gotta get the angles. Something doesn't feel right. And then we got to get an angle right here if I can do it without falling. Uh -huh. That looks good. I think. Ooh. Ooh. You'd flip the bars. The bars on the underside. Uh, is that right? Did I do that on this side also? So I have one there, one there, and that's a one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, and then we'll do a bar. Copy rotation. Copy rotation. Something's not right again. Doggone it. What did I do? What did I do on this side that I didn't do on the other side? I put these two soon, didn't I? Two more blocks and we got it. 31 likes to 200. Thank you, folks. Thank you for that. That's what I did. I started on the, the angle too soon, didn't I? Maybe. No, 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 no. There's a bar at the end. There's a bar at the end. There's no bar here. And there's no bar there. The catwalks wouldn't work if you flip the bars, though. Mr. Beeswees. Why am I flipping bars again? Why would I do that? I'm just looking at a couple alternatives here. Because I really don't like the way... I mean, it looks okay. It's acceptable, I guess. And then this would be like that and like this. Mm hmm. That's where I messed up. That's where I messed up right there. Right there, doggone it. I started too soon on this one. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I'm just making stuff up as I go here. 
Yeah, Bob, you, you got to at least, if you don't auger at least once, Bob, you're not doing it right. Or five times or something. Is that right? That doesn't look right. Again, copy rotation. I should have just gone with the original idea on the other side. Is that going to be right? That doesn't look like it's going to be right, Bob. Bob, did you do something? Bob, I think you messed me up here. All right, let's take a look at this again. How do we do this corner over here? And do we want to do it this way? I really like the way that looks right there. I know it's all just cosmetics. It doesn't really matter. What's up, bad Bri? So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. Right there. Eight bars. So I need to take this off. We're going to make it simple here. We're just going to put a solid plate. Measure once, cut it twice. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do right here, sir. I'm going to cut it multiple times. Okay, we could actually cover the corner that way too. You know what I mean? I could walk out here and cover the corner if I had to, if I did that and I put a bar right there, but we're probably just going to put a solid catwalk thing in there. I don't know. Bar or catwalk? Oh boy. I'm getting I'm getting phone calls and messages. Bob, leave me alone, man. Stop calling me. You know I'm streaming, man. Gone it, Bob. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be an eighth bar right there. Let's copy. Stick it in. One. I'm sure there's going to be one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And an eighth bar here. Okay. I usually do this kind of stuff when I'm uh, all, you know, Building on a little series or something, and I can pre-think it, but here I'm just kind of making this up as we go. Danger rescue made some bars for Christmas. That counts. Rick Hines, how are you? There's Raymond and Ashley. Better to start early than ending early. Go with plan B. Is that just to get TNT and just blow it all up? Is that what we're supposed to do? I don't know. Is it all the same now? I don't think it's all the same, is it? No, no. No, no, no. This is the last side we got to fix, I think. This has got to be a solid. And that's got to be a solid there. Do me a solid, Bob. Yeah, I do my little turn on the catwalk. Mm, 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 mm. Who is that? Is that right said Fred that does that song? I think it is. Oh, here's the thing, folks. Here's the thing I wanted you to tell me. If you had to listen to one song played in the background for the rest of your life, what would that song be? And once you all tell me, I'll tell you what mine would be. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. And then the one in the corner here, the little flat piece, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's too long. What's up, Shadow? Good times? <laughs> I'm just looking for a reason to use the auger. I like the auger. Is there something wrong with me liking the auger? It's so wonderful. And it makes that real noise. It's kind of wonderful and all. And I like it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, look at that, Mr. Bees Wheeze. Whoopsie. Gotta use the auger. Yep. 
Oh, woe is me. They're using the auger again. There we go. But come tomorrow, we'll take a break and we'll go do some quests in the wasteland. That's what everybody wants. That's what you need. I got what you need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is not going to work out right. The opposite corner from the one I'm working on needs fixing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we to do that, too. Got to do that, too. We're almost done. Almost done. All right. Bar. Okay. Copy. And if this isn't it... Then I'm just not working on it anymore right now. I'll fix that on my own time. So uh, I gotta read through your songs. You got one, DB, what's up? You gotta hear, you can only hear one song for the rest of your life and it plays all the time, every day, all day. Maybe even it's the end of the world. There's nothing else. The world has ended. You're all alone, but you got this song that's just playing and playing and playing in the background. And that's all you hear. What song is it that you're going to have playing in the background? Now, you got to think about this. You're eating, you're pooping, you're sleeping, you're working, you're doing whatever you're going to do. And this song is just going to play and play and play all the time. Lou Dog. What up, Lou? Lou, I'm, uh, I'm a little short on caffeine and sleep right now, sir. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what mine would be and why. Hey, we're going to put these last blocks up, and then the whole thing's probably going to fall down, folks. That's just how things work sometimes. Hey, good enough for close enough for government work or something they say sometimes or something like that. You know, it gives us a little place to go up there and uh, just, you know what I mean? Oversee everything. All right, so uh, so let's see here. I don't think some of you are really thinking this through, right? I don't think some of you are thinking this through with this song. Like Metallica, like you're just trying to relax and kick back. You know you're hearing that all day. What's up, Gamer of Games? I'm looking at what all you're saying, and I don't see many matches here. You all have your own song that you like. Uh, it could be any song, DB, any song. Staying alive, or so I say, stay alive forever. Carol King. Room with a point of view says, wouldn't matter which one, it would drive you insane. That's what I'm saying, uh, Room. That's what I'm saying here. So I'm looking, I'm just scrolling through all your songs right now. Here's the one I would pick the theme song from Minecraft. It's such a simple, soothing it's not constant just a little plink here and a little plunk there a little piano not much to it right it's not fancy it's not gonna get all intense on you and all the time and like crazy like that it's just a simple tune right it's just a simple song that's what i would go with because i think anything else would drive you insane if you had to listen to it all night all day every day you wake up it's playing you go to sleep it's playing it's playing all the time and if it's some heavy stuff or some you know song that gets intense i think it would drive you crazy but the minecraft song it's just it's there but you almost don't notice it's there it's so subtle you know what i mean you follow me anything else i think would drive you crazy I think it would just drive you insane. It would drive you mad. 
because you can't ever turn it off. It's just playing the loudspeaker in the world everywhere all the time. Yeah, well, not the longest song, because imagine if you had to listen to something like Stairway to Heaven on loop forever. Right? I was just thinking about that the other day. I was driving around the road. I was like, you know what? It would be the theme song for Minecraft because it's you're playing Minecraft and, you know, it's there and you kind of recognize that it's there. But then it's it's kind of not, you know, because it's just so subtle. Yeah, Minecraft theme song for me. That's that would be my personal choice. What I would use. Hotel California over and over and over just drive you bonkers. You'd just lose your mind if you had to hear that over and over and over again. You know what I mean? I think you'd lose your mind with about any song. It would have to be something that's smooth and subtle and it's just not going to stick out as you're doing your day-to-day -day task. Hey, folks, don't let me forget. I actually have a garden right down here, an underground garden. I got to check that and see if it's, uh, you know... How it's doing? <laughs> I mean, we gotta be plants down here planted. We gotta go check on them every once in a while. Oh, it's growing. All growing. All right, all right. We gotta make some more garden plots too for when uh, the garden is ready. And it's 3.36 in the morning. The trader will be open soon. We're gonna go over to that trader and we're gonna get ourselves some, uh, some quest. I could probably upgrade this stuff too. Do I have a nail gun over here? Oh, they got it. Oh, no. Just upgrade that to cobblestone or something. I don't have cobblestone. Yeah, Christine, it's not necessarily that I like the Minecraft music, okay? Um, it's just that it's very subtle and it. It's there, but not really. So I don't know how the Halo song sounds, El Javello, Uh, But if it's just some subtle kind of soft, maybe some strings or something. You know, I mean, you think about some of those places you go, those those places. I don't know what you call them, but uh, where they have the therapeutic, they do all of the smells and they do a massage and they'll have some light little soft music in the background playing like something like that. Right? You could probably live with that. Maybe. Maybe you could live without that without driving you crazy. But you can't ever turn it off. So hopefully, hopefully you're good with whatever it is. <laughs> so you're going to hear it all day, every day, the rest of your life. Now. You had to choose a movie soundtrack for the same thing? What would it be? I don't know movie soundtracks, right? I don't know. We're just going to auger for a minute until the um, trader is open. Just for one minute here until the trader is open. And we, I want to paint the base too. I do want to get this base painted. I think it'd be pretty cool if we could get it painted, uh, painted up. Get all fancy. All fancy. All fat and fancy. Well, uh, I guess a spa, but like, I don't, I've never been to a spa before, Bobo. Um, I'm thinking about like these places you go in and they have the music, the sounds of Zen as you breathe pure oxygen and have your scalp massaged or whatever, you know, but one of those places. I've never had a massage in all my life and I've never been to a spa all my life. I don't like people touching all on me, right? It doesn't really feel good to me. Um, I'll go to, I've been to a chiropractor a few times in my life. I don't mind that, but no, I don't, I don't want anybody mashing up on my, uh, on my back or my, uh, neck or none of that kind of stuff. I just don't like it. It's not, uh, pleasant. It's kind of annoying. So, yeah, something like that though. Something like a spa. They have the nice little soothing sounds playing in the background. 
Uh, that's a good call, Trolley. Put a mushroom in the base and use it as a timer for the other crops. That's uh, that's pro tip right there, you know, if you really were wanting to know when your stuff's ready. Uh, I got to I gotta get it down to a science, though, and find out what day. And we'll just look at the clock and the day and say, okay, it's day 25 at 450. On day 28 at 450, our crops will be ready. You know, we just got to look at it that way. Well, that's a different kind of touch, right, George? That's not like going and have some stranger rub on your shoulders and your back and your whatever parts. You know, I, like, I don't know. I just... Uh, you know, massages don't really do that for me. Like, I don't enjoy that. All right, it's 4.59. Well, the trader's not quite open. The trader's just across the street, so we walk out of the base and we're there. And once again, this is not an entrance and exit for us. This is a relief point, a relief valve, a relief point for wandering hordes and screamers. If screamers come up to your base... And uh, you got a base with no holes in the wall. It's just a solid wall. You know what they're going to do? They're going to come up and they're going to beat on your wall until they get through. But if you have an opening, they're going to go through that opening to get to the other side. So that's why I did what I did right there. There I am thirsty again. Here's the test. All right, now here's a here's a spider. The spider will probably get through. I guess you could put two dart traps, one there, and set one on top of the other or something to keep them out. I don't know. Hey, I tell you what. Can I make a... <laughs> hold up, hold up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Give me one of these here. Give me one of these. 30 seconds. Let me put my stuff up and then we'll head on over to the, uh, <laughs> we'll head on over to the trader. I'm just, I'm pumping this out with nothing in there. We got to get some stone up in these things. Give me a stack of that stuff. We got to get a massive steel and concrete production going on. And I need more forges at some point. Got to get some iron up in there. Mm -hmm. All can get through a block space. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to make it a full door. Uh, but if you seal this wall up with no holes in it, they're, they're going to break your wall down. Right? They're just going to sit there and beat on the wall until they're... But if there's a way to get in, if you get in there, they can get in there, then, you know, they're just going to... They're going to walk through the hole and leave your stuff alone. Hey, zombie! Leave my stuff alone! do 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 <laughs> No! Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't shoot me. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really annoying. But I'm going to leave it there for now. Oh, I think I just drew some attention to me with that. Hey, trader's open. Hey! You good? Stop that. Right, we need a couple more bullets for this quest we're about to do. Are right, we good? One thing I don't have is a stone. And we need to turn this into a ladder. Ladder. So we have a nice little simple easy way to get in and out and I'm gonna hit the rock throw out the sand repair this you know what we didn't bring a um this stinks I need to bring my motorcycle over here and leave the mini bike at the other base you know what I mean that's what we need to do because 
I think I have the mini bike here, but I don't have the motorcycle. And I'd like to have the motorcycle over here and the mini bike over there. Where did I put it anyway? Does anybody remember where I put that or did I leave that over there too? Here it is. So we do have the mini bike. We just don't have a motorcycle over here. Ugh. So we got we to fix that. When we go back, when we fly back over there at some point, we'll do that. I'm going to take this and take that and sell it. I could probably sell this auger, but it's only 2100 uh, maybe if we'd have put a mod on there, it'd be uh, more than that even. But uh, anyway. Oh, he did. Song you can get. Uh, Bongo Cats? Mary, you would want to destroy bongos and cats if you had to listen to that all day every day for the rest of your life <laughs> surf punk what's up what band would you listen to in gameplay ah uh, you know but being a musician my whole life man i there are not a lot of songs that i want to hear um when i ride down the road in my truck I don't listen to anything. I ride around in silence or I'm listening to instructional videos on gardening and farming and stuff to try to absorb stuff there because, you know, that's what I'm doing now over on the other channel, the old Grand Outdoors. So I'm trying to learn. Uh, so I'll try to educate myself, but I don't listen to music, right? I'm just, um, it's great and all, but it, I had to listen to that stuff for so many years and absorb what I was listening to so I could repeat it, right? Well, I'm, I'm going to buy that. I don't know if I can make that. If I can make it, I won't buy it. We're looking for schematics. We're looking for uh, motion sensors. We're looking for schematics. Pistol Pete. Craft high power 9mm. No. Not interested in that. All right, let's sell him our stuff. And let's take a look at our barter. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, Dang it, you no, you... <laughs> Okay, so we can play the trick. We can play the little trick here. Because I'm not really level 10, right? All right, so here's how you here's how you beat it a little bit. So when we look at this guy, I hope I did it right. We look at this guy, he's got, look at that, Solar Bank, M60s, right? He's got the tier 5 stuff in his inventory for us to have and to hold. And crucibles. And urban combat. Buy that. And uh, hobo stew. Compound bow schematic. I'm tempted to buy that right there, folks. But I don't have a lot of money. Solar cells. Okay, now. You saw what he had, right? Thanks, buddy. Check this out. Now I'm going to take my nerdy glasses off. I'm going to go back to intellect. Oh, I'm only level four in better barter now. I wonder what he has in his level four stash. Lucky looter book. What do you know? Right? A mini bike. Another lucky looter book that I don't think I can afford, which really burns me up. I got to go get more money in something because I want that. And we'll be collecting those things. Okay. Let's, uh, what does this one give? Cigars. This one gives find more ammunition and loot. Let's go back over to the base real quick and find something to sell. Uh, Dwayne. There's a link to the other channel right there, sir. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, Rick hadn't been around for a long time then, I guess. Rick, you've never been here for one of my music streams, playing the piano and singing and stuff? you never seen that before? There are probably a lot of you that have never been here for that. Because it's not like I do it all the time anymore. All right, let's put this in there. Something we can sell. Uh, I'll take... Uh, what does that drone sell for again? 553 I'll repair and sell the auger let's put a mod on the auger so it sells for let's repair it it sells for 25 27 if I modify it put this on now it sells for 3032 that's what we're gonna sell we're gonna sell the auger we're gonna buy that book Oh, yeah. Okay, Rick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't go in and hold up. You got me thinking now. I got to pause this for a second. Have you ever seen that? 
YouTube. Oh, hey, Grant Spartan's live. Yeah. Let's play in the, uh, play in that seven days to die game. All right, hold up. I'm getting it for you. There it is. Okay, I got it. Copy link. I gotta, I gotta copy this into my notepad so I don't have to look it up every day. All right, there you go. There was just some music that I clipped from a, uh, a stream. The good songs got copyright, so I couldn't post those, right? So I just clipped the ones out that didn't get hit with a copyright and uh, mushed them in a little video together right there. Not one of my finer moments of music, but uh, there it is, right? All right, here we go. Sell the auger. Oh, uh, I didn't need to, man. I didn't need more money than that. I just needed enough to buy this Lucky Looter book. Like, I want all of the Lucky Looter books. You know what I mean? I want all those. I want all of all the, right, all of the books and the things. Get out of my store. I'm not getting out of your store. I want quests, sir. Do you have any jobs? He's got a tier one fetch. Doesn't even matter. Look, blockhead. I'd say it's We're just looking for loot and money. And money and loot. Uh, wait a minute. Where's it at? Oh, it's tier one fetch is over there? That could be tricky on the mini bike. Uh, let's make sure our M60 is loaded. Yes, it is. All right. It's right on the other side of our base. What's up, Sean and Hayden? You got to get on through there. Well, if I run over a landmine on this thing, it's a wrap. Lin Quinn. Night. Uh, I well, I mean, I did uh, I did music streams all the time. Like when we were doing. Oh, there's a shotgun messiah right there. Wait, I haven't been in here, have I? This is a whole new world. A zombie's running to eat my brains. Oh, look at you now, man. Look at you now. Keep your spit in your mouth next time. All right, should I loot this or should I, uh, <clears throat> should I just go and, uh, do the quest? You're not going to come down? I'll come to you. You know, I think I fired that weapon and the zombie still heard me, even with the silencer on it. I need to supercharge it? Yeah, but I just need to go get my motorcycle. I don't need to supercharge this. This is emergency only vehicle. Boy, I just squoze through that hole. Do you see that? They had to rub Vaseline on me to get through that one. <laughs> uh, oh, it's the salon. Sir, I'm going to get my hair done. But before I do, we're going to eat a piece of pie. There you go, Mary. There's your song, Mary. Sweet potato pie and I shut my mouth. Gone, gone with the wind. Mary ain't coming back again. That's Mary's song. That was Mary's theme song when she was uh, younger. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Don't you hit me. See what's happening? A leather trunk. Should have probably put those on before I clicked on the leather trunk. <laughs> Oh, I know you're not saying that I sing nice after hearing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, my goodness. What am I to do? It's another level five auger. They're everywhere now. It's like, you know, I went for so long and I'm looking. No augers. And then all of a sudden, everything is an auger. It's like that Midas touch, right? And everything, he's like, oh, I want to be rich. I want gold. I want everything I touch to turn to gold. Yeah, it's all cool sound and everything until it really does start turning to gold. And then you're like, wait a minute. I I didn't want my food to turn to gold. It's the same thing here. Look at that. SMG. Um, I just wanted an auger. I didn't want 30 or 50. I just want one. Just one auger. Really, I just wanted the auger schematic to make my own. I got so many of those tool parts. 
And um, let's do this quest. Silencers work better on the smaller. <laughs> no, man. The silencers are great on the on a M60. I'm sure you've known plenty of people that have silencers on those. I'm sure the military uses silencers on a saw and an M60 and it would only make sense. I think that's a copper Rooney back there. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I gotta find the supplies. They're right here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Done. Hey, is there loot in the salon? I don't know. Could be acid in here. There's glue. There's polymers. There's a crawler. And here's the key to the door. The key to the kingdom. Ah. Yeah, there are some variables. I saw that. Uh, the last one I had, I actually replaced with the one that I found. So it was better than the one I had. I'll do that in a little while. Oh, wait, you can get up top right here. Anything up here? I mean, I've already completed a quest. There it is. There's that loot. Knew there was probably something here. Be saucy. Once you, oh, reminds you of Oblivion. Once you get the glass armor, then it's everywhere. Glass armor? Wait, what? Seems like that would probably break very easily. What I know. I'm thinking diamond armor. You can't loot that. Can you loot diamond armor on Minecraft? I don't know. You like loot that out of a chest or something? Oh boy, we could cheese that place. That's the hospital's got the loot all up on the top. Wait, what is my loot stage anyway? Just out of curiosity here. 256, okay. When we hit 300, we'll really cheese some places. Man, you better get away from me. You just swatting like swatting flies away. We need to get those things so we can make more garden plots. Where's the trader? The trader's over here. It's a cash cow. Uh, well, they're worth a couple thousand, you know, I mean, it's it's not like it's gonna save me from ever having to loot again, but eh, I mean It's a chance at a better auger. I'd really love to have a six quality so we could put the dirt the grave digger the bunker buster iron breaker and the diamond tip blade mod on there then that's the ultimate auger, right? Got a nice twang to my voice. We well, yeah, about when I talk like this is that a twang enough? <laughs> oh man, I knew some people like that talk just like that too. Yeet. Look at that, drifting on the mini bike. Spear Hunter or Helmet Light Mod? Which one sells for more of that one? Okay, do you have another one? Yes, you do. Oh, he's it's in his back pocket. Let's make a pact. He just wants me to fetch his wallet for him. That's all. Good luck, kid. Uh, you know what I can do? Let's uh, let's compare these real quick. Repair. I got an SMG. I mean, we can go get that. We could fly over to our base and get the nine millimeter ammo. Now we actually have something decent that uses it. That's fifty one range damage. I mean, look, this M sixty modded is only fifty nine, right? This is fifty one point eight. So. Uh, block damage is 27, mine is 29, well, it's 35, right? So, um, it's not quite as good, but uh, we'll just, we'll sell it back to him. Uh, I don't need that. You can have that, sir. Thank you. Sort. Let's go sale. get, uh... If it's to a scumbag like you. Hackers is a good one. Let's go get this uh, thing and, and knock it out. I like questing in the uh, wasteland. Logic. Logic. Newspaper stands can be looted too. Yeah, we did that. Uh, you know, maybe open in weekend. I looted a couple of those. That thing was literally in his backyard. He sold the auger. You could buy some parts. Yeah. Yeah. 
buy some stuffs, some books. We're trying to collect books at this stage of the game, right? We want to get the, the full mining set. We, there's just certain books that we want to get. And, uh... We're all just going to fall out on the floor like that? Oh, it's funny because these are just tier one zombies because these are tier one quests, right? Tier one quest. Look, 102 bullets in that thing. What? Polymer is a good item to sell. Don't ever want to sell polymer. You don't ever want to sell that. You want to keep all the polymer you get because if you ever want to make exploding crossbow bolts or... Um, exploding arrows then you have to have two polymer for every single one you make and uh, they're not that easy to find I mean they're not hard to find there's a finite amount of those in the world that you'll ever get and they'll never be more and you can't craft them right so probably don't want to sell polymers if you find them you're gonna want to use those uh, I should be wrenching these beds and all but we're not really destroying much of anything in any place, so we can come back. We I got a zombie up in here. When you say, uh, I need to make something, and I don't have it. What are you doing, sir? Are you just going to do that? I I'm just going to leave you there, sir, and let you decide what it is that you want to do or how you want to do it. Uh, this thing is close. It's like right here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Don't you shoot at me with your shooty stuff. Gotta get him before he pops. Pop, pop, and roll. Hey, Edgar. Oh, they're all pooping out sacks. I like sack poopage. Well, that sounds kind of yucky. It is what it is. And that's what it is. Is there nothing else in here? There's no loot in this house? Like a loot room? The little flashlight shines over there like there's something, but there's nothing there. Eh. Eh, whatever. Can you craft it? You can craft a polymer string. But, um... I don't see any scrap polymers here. Oh, that's right. That's right. If you want steel arrows. Um, steel arrow? Two polymers a piece. That's not just the exploding. Just steel bolts or steel arrows. That's what you got to have. Shotgun slugs? Okay. That's another thing. Yeah, so you don't you don't really want to sell polymers. Uh, just because you never know if that's the route you want to go. You want to try something new and... Man... There's not enough of them in the world to go around. Everyone. I got a pink mini bike. You know that? I got a little Barbie. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's pink and plastic. It's so darn... Ah. Phoenix girl, what's up? Yeah, you can make glue from corn. That's right. That's right. I forgot what all you can make from super corn. Glue is one of them. Or duct tape. That's really about all you can do with super corn. I mean, you can eat the stuff, but... Molotovs are the hunter turn. Ten more... Okay, I think I'll take these. I like the Molotovs, but uh, we'll take those instead. So we're just knocking these... We're knocking these things out. Like, it's just... Next time, I don't know. Snappy, what's up? Loot on the roof? I don't know. Are we going back to the same house? <laughs> Surely, we aren't going to the same house. Yeah, well, they really buffed up bows on this alpha. And you look at agility, your archery, 50% faster aim, 50% more damage. Plus the book series, uh, the Hunter's Journal, is 10% more damage against everything. I thought there was one other thing that benefited bows. But if you get some exploding crossbow bolts and you spec into Demolition Expert and get all the books for... Oh, man, you'd be... 
be doing a lot of damage. Sarah. How you doing, Sarah? Sarah, I asked you the other night, and I missed it. If you said it, I'm sorry. Are you still creating content, man? You seem like a, a very nice lady. Super corn replaced grain alcohol. There you go. Wait, where am I going? I'm going over here. Ooh, this is a big place, maybe. Probably not. It's a big little place. A little big place. Get up in there. Six quality auger. I'll take the trophies. All right, I don't know this place, but we're going to do it. Oh, I need this stone to repair my lacquer. We're going to drink. We're going to read this book. And we're going to eat our last piece of pie. That's the last food I have, folks. I don't have any more food, so we got to get to cooking or something. Hey, Mary, you want to join me in the uh, series here for a you know, couple streams or something? And you can cook me up some... Uh, some good food like you like to do. I know you love the, the whole cooking thing. Just like you love that country music. <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh, I gotta go up to find the thing. Up to find the thing. Yeah, no, archery is, uh... Archery now can, man, you could be one shot in some feral radiated zombies with the way they buffed it. And you get the sneak thing going on with the uh, sneak perks. You get over there and get the book out of there to 16 paper. I don't want that. I'm not making shotgun shells on this series. I can help it. Hey, where am I going? What a lady. Where you going, girl? Hey, <laughs> I got her. And running by me like a crazy person. All right, it's right here, folks. It's got to be right here somewhere. Oh, it's sitting on the table the whole time. I walked by that thing. Ugh. Nasty. Why are you so nasty? Where's my bike? It's over here. Running from the dog. Running from the dog. Oh, I missed him. Bad shot. Sit, doggy. Sit. Your song would be the Moonlight Sonata. Uh, you know, the Moonlight Sonata isn't bad, but isn't there a point in the Moonlight Sonata where it gets kind of intense? Because you wouldn't want to... You want to be... Oh, my goodness. I can vacuum out my mini bike. We've been saved, folks. Power doors and that I might come in handy to power doors and stuff like that. You never know. I mean, we might want to do something fancy with our base over there that we're working on. Cause I want to live in style in the apocalypse, right? I want to have that base, not just living, but L I V I N living. Let's see who's mailing what? Nothing. Nobody. Let's check the papers. Got it, what the? He better not infect me. I was like hoping somebody had a book up in there or something, but nope. All right, Bill. Have a good night's sleep, ma'am. Thank you. Be saucy. Been smitten with the bow since Alpha 12. Yeah, I used to. The only thing I would ever use is a crossbow and a spike club, right? I hated guns. Hated using guns in this game. But, um, you know, the game changed. I had to evolve with it. There's a wandering horde right here that just dis, uh, dispersed right out in front of our thing. But now they buff bows. I'll probably start using them again at some point. A lazy mushroom. Oh, yeah, lazy mushroom. Okay. Uh, my boyfriend's makeup. My boyfriend does my makeup. Really? Oh, Sarah. Oh, you okay. Yeah, it is, Sarah. It is. I, I know, ma'am. I know. You gotta slip it in when you can slip it in. If you want one, don't just stand. I'm a master of slipping it in. Oh, you know what, a lady? 
And away we go. We just gonna we knocked out all the tier one quest in a day. We just these have been a lot of easy ones. Just go grab the sack and go, you know. When you can grab your sack and go, it makes for a quick work. Looks like I'm driving into a ranch. Same to you, Rick. I'll be live again tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Things go the way I hope they will. Oh, <gasps> teeters. Oh, we need these so desperately needed these to expand our garden. Now look at that right there. Look at that right there. Corn and taters. We didn't necessarily need the corn, but we definitely need the taters. I only had like four of those, so. Now, there's no super chat on here, uh, Russell. Thank you for, for the thoughts, sir. There's no super chat. I just have a, a PayPal link, but I don't I do not do the whole super chat thing, sir. Long story behind that. Ugh. Maybe I'll share it again one day. What's in here? Nothing. Is there anything worth getting out of this store? This is uh, what's uh, Pixel's favorite store. He loves this store. This store means so much to him. And I think I think Jimmy and I used it as a horde base and kind of got it destroyed. I don't think Pixel is very happy with us. I don't bring my thing. No, I didn't bring my thing to scrap everything in here, but this would be a place where you get some polymers and electrical parts and so forth. Wait. Did, oh, I thought he was right there. Did I accept the quest? I don't think I did. There's a great loot shed in that house. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? What did I do? Uh, which one did I have all of? Oh, the tech junkie. See, we need to do this. We need to do this. We're, we're Captain Intellect. We have all of the tech books. We should, uh, we should specialize in that. That, that book just, or box, is, is no longer a box. And it just keep playing a little happy song for me. Right? That would get annoying for the rest of your life. That little happy song. Got a bird up in here. Shotgun shells. Logan smells. Zombie laid an egg. Ugh, just nothing. All right, all right. Let's, uh, can I hop down here without breaking my leg? Yeah, Simon, I'm normally not. This is not a time. This is not a time, Sean and Mary. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. I can't come back till later to do this, Sean and Mary. That's a little disappointing. I was ready to do this quest, Sean. Thank you, surprise Mary. Monday stream. It's for the surprise Monday stream. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah, Ali. Can't believe they won't let me do a quest here. Shannon Doa Duba. Old Man River. He just keeps rowing or flowing or going. <laughs> I don't know the words. Shenandoah. Wasn't that like a country band name, Mary? Wasn't there a band named Shenandoah? I know you know these things. You can probably tell me all their songs and their albums and stuff, but I just need to know if it was a real name of a country artist or band or something. Terry Lee and Wiki. Terry Lee and Wicca Wicca E. We gotta go cancel this quest. He kind of gave me the short end of something on that one. Well, I'm excited to uh, come back and, um, you know, tomorrow and get some more work done on this base. It's starting to look pretty sharp, you know, starting to look like an actual base. What's Dwayne, what's up? up? blue shit is nice you could sleep in the drying rack and have a really nice breeze man if you try to get in that drying rack you going for a quick ride down to the floor right it's just meant to dry greens and not bodies right 
Ain't gonna hold your body. Uh, what did I come here for? Oh, I wanted to um, throw this out. I want to cancel this quest. Uh, you, you can't do it in that area. So there's there's no need for me to even have that. Uh, you, you better let me click on the right thing, sir. I'm gonna make you an offer. Word of advice. This is the last one. This is the last quest. Poison? They came for a complaint about the banging from me deheading geese for Christmas Day. Well, shame on them. You ought to just hand them the old butcher knife and say, here, you do it then. And hand them a goose. <laughs> goose. Oh, man. Don't do that, sir. The exit of the bunker. Can you not do an archway, Simon? Oh, Simon. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about my wall? You don't want to make any openings in that base too big because a cop is going to spit up or a vulture spit in there and break all your stuff in the base. As a matter of fact, I need to close the doors of the base. I keep leaving those open. But if I'm in there and a cop sees me, oh, it's a bad day for a Grand Spartan because all my stuff's going... <laughs> a Christmas goose. It's a Christmas goose. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone eating a Christmas goose. Is that different from a Halloween goose or a Thanksgiving goose or just a goose goose? Hey, Bounty Hunt Gal. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the stream. Oh, but, but. What's that language? What did I just say? That was Zarconian from the planet Nebula. That was that language that just spoke. In case you didn't know. If it took me. Oh, I was going to say, it took me to the same place again. I swear, Bob, I'll blame it on you. Oh, I know this place, kind of. I used to know this place. I used to know a guy that dated this girl that knew this place. Lady. Take it. Take it. Book. Paper. Um, oh, I gotta go down. Book? Paper. Are there no books in the world anymore? You gotta buy those things? Sell my soul for a couple books. Oh, she's feral too. Gotta just laid her out to the four corners of the earth. Nothing in there. Uh, oh boy. We done woke him up now, yo. Bam, bam, what up? Don't you do it, ma'am. Don't you. Hey. Peter. Peter. Thank you, Peter. Bashev. Is that how you say it? Ooh. Barracuda. Welcome. Thank you. There's a wheel. I don't know why we need it, but yeah, there's a wheel. Hey, I got to get my thing out of here. Where is it at? It is down still. I still got to go down. Let me get... Oh! Let me get the uh, toolbox. Could be repair kits in there. Just mechanical parts. Okay. Maybe tool kits in here? Or repair kits? Follow this. Car. Sniper rifle. We can sell that. That actually sells for a lot of money. Okay. Uh, you can't go in that little hole. Can I go in this little hole? Yes. I fit right in there. Now, where's my thing? Uh, wait. It's down even more? How the heck do I get down there? Where's the place to go to there? I mean, I I know how to get there. I'll do it with the auger, but I don't want to have to do it with the auger. Oh, I just walk in the room and, and, and there it is right there. Okay, I, I see. I see. <laughs> What's in that bag? A can. I had a can. 3.30? Take it to the limit. Ooh, one more time. There's popping pills across the street. Oh, there's a cracking book. Wait, have we looted that cracker book yet? 
Oh, I think we have. I think we looted that. We shouldn't have. Shame on us for not being patient and saving our game stages up. I think there is loot respawn on for seven days or something, but no, I don't think we have been in here. This looks like a new place. I just want to skip all these bookshelves because I don't ever get anything out of those anyway and go straight to the upstairs. We just need the auger schematic um, and a couple other things. We need a couple schematics, but mostly we need the books. Don't go to Mr. Twice. We need the books for mining. These are just going to be schematics in here, aren't they? We aren't going to find any books in this place. You, I will knock you out of the air, boy. Come here. Your nasty old spine showing. Yo, gotta take him out. Hey, Edgar. I don't want to use a shotgun if I can help it, because a shotgun is so destructive. It just destroys everything. Yeah, I got a six quality sniper rifle I found not too long ago. Uh, we used it the last horde night and it saved a lot of ammo because you gotta come up in here on me. We didn't want to use the M60. Now I could just use the M60 like that, but that sniper rifle does a lot more damage than the M60. I forgot how much more, but a lot. Hey lady. Lady, um, just hop up here one more time. I won't do that again. <laughs> I promise you I won't do that again. I had to do it just that one more time. That's it. She's dead. All right. We can't play with the lady anymore. Doggone it. Why we can't have nice things there, Simon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paintbrush. We're going to want to paint our base. We want to paint that. A little beer. Now, how do I get up there to get the good stuff? Do I have to just build my way up there? Is that what I have to do? Or is there an easier way up there? I always take the hard way. Use that SMG. Oh, yeah, baby. We got the ammunition for it right now. Watch this. Hold my beer, Vlad. Oh, he didn't even know what hit him. He didn't know what hit him either. Get wrecked, zombies. Oh, we got one of those. Okay. I got the lock pick right here. Yeah, you got to spec into that, Bam Bam. Put a couple points or so into uh, the Penetrator. No, nah, no, nah, Mr. Bees Wees. You're, you're not understanding the logic behind it. So, this hammer has a chance to pop any zombie. Feral, radiated, whatever, in one shot. If I were to use the steel and I get three or four shots before I'm out of stamina and can no longer run, I'm dead. With this hammer, I can continually crowd control every zombie in front of me by doing a power swing. Knock them down. Then I can just get on top of them while they're on the ground. Doesn't mean if it's a feral radiated white, doesn't matter. Because I can keep him CC'd. The entire time he's trying to come after me and attack me. You're not going to be able to do that with a steel sledge. you got to hope you kill him in those first couple shots. Because if you don't, it's a wrap. You're going to eat it, right? Because you, you're not going to be able to run away because you got no stamina. Because you swung it a few times and it took all your stamina away to do that. So, now I'll stick with this one as long as I can. I might switch to a steel here and there for a little thing or two. But for the most part, it's just going to all be stone sledge. For, uh, for crowd control because that's essentially what I'm using it for is crowd control 
when the zombies come up running up at me three at a time i can swing it one time boom they're all on the ground but i'm not out of stamina i didn't have to give a lot to get a lot right that's the whole principle behind using the stone sledge now i mean if i'm not hitting them in the head either i'm not doing a great job at my aim and getting him in the head every time, but there is that chance if you do. It's a wrap. One shot to the head. Dead. Oh my goodness, Simon O'Brien is now Spartan Elite. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for that. Brand new member, shiny spanking brand. And Simon's got that new smell to him even. You smell that? Ugh. It's the smell of new. Thank you, Simon, for smelling new, sir. Thank you for that. <laughs> a bandage? I got a boo-boo on my knee. Went to Alabama with a with a boo-boo on my knee. Yeah, that's the great thing about that stone sledge is they come at me 10 strong. I got a bunch of wax to knock them all on the ground and get away. You know what I mean? The steel, you're just hoping for a kill every shot. But this one, you're not necessarily over a kill. You're just hoping to control them. Oh my goodness, Mithagi! He's got that new smell, too. Too new. Too new to both of yous. Thank you. Thank you for that, both of yous. Get your little balls out of the chat there, Daryl. Your little eyeballs. You're taking those uh, fight bombs. Probably shouldn't have. Probably should have taken the armor mod. Shame on me. Hey, I'm going to repair this sniper rifle, and we're going to sell it and see what we get for it. Uh, I don't have any mods over here to put on it, but if I did, we'd get even more money. We can get 1934 out of it. Okay. What does he have here that I want? Ooh, that's so tempting to buy the TNT. All we can do is destroy things with that. We don't want to do that. We want to build up, not destroy, right? Logan, you know you can... You know your little bar stools can come in different colors now, so you can get pink, the color that you've always wanted did you know that oh look at that he sells augers no we sold him those augers those are our augers i'm buying this i want that extended oh wait a minute he had a two-time scope yep that's my favorite i don't like the big one the uh you know what i mean i don't i don't like the the eight time that's too much that's too much zoom uh someone was saying that you want your peripheral uh Oh, I can make my own denim jeans. She tried to hide it by the faded denim jeans she wore. Shit, man. I treat you Mary can tell you all of that. You don't even fucking yeah, if I had the book for the bat for the club, look at how it's looking over there, folks. Look at my little uh, base thingy right here. We just got to clean up all around it. I mean, I could take this wall and I could make the wall higher than the building and just encompass the whole thing in concrete. Just like a tomb, like they did with old uh, Chernobyl nuclear facility. Yeah, I can make it now if I had to. What does it take to make dynamite? Paper, gunpowder, duct tape, and plant fiber. It's a lot. That's a lot of stuff for, you know, what you're going to be doing there. It's out of iron again. We got to go iron mining, but, uh, but we're not going to do that tonight because um, right now, folks, I'm going to wind it down. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out here this evening in this little surprise stream that sometimes I slip in. Expect uh, expect multiple streams this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I won't be here on Friday, right? Going to be doing stuff with the family. We got the whole uh, Christmas thing uh, this, this weekend, so we'll be doing that Friday and Saturday. I'll, of course, I'll be on here on Monday, or uh, Sunday, I'm sorry. But uh, tomorrow night, 7 p.m., probably closer to 6, so somewhere in between there. I'll have the timer up here sometime this evening. I'll set it. Uh, so Tuesday, probably Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll, we'll be streaming it up. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging out here with me this evening. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I have enjoyed your company. And I really thank you for all the donations and the thumbs up. Welcome to the new subscribers and sponsors. Have a good night, folks. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow.